All right, everybody in the conference room. I don't care if you are gay or straight or a lesbian or overweight. Just get in here right now. The fundamentals of business. The fundamentals of business. Mental is a part of the word. I have underlined it. Because you're mental, if you don't have a good time, you have to enjoy it. You know, the, the fun is in it. Oh, oh, fundamental. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Get out. I know, I know. Yes, so welcome. Help yourself. Um, I might want these orientation materials. Wrong. Toby, this is an orientation, not a borientation. <laughs> okay, do not worry. All of your questions are about to be answered. Cell phones and pagers off, please. Oh, this looks promising. You won't be disappointed. Let's face it, moving to a new job can be very stressful. So I have made an orientation video, especially for you newcomers. But it's not like any orientation video that any of you have ever seen. It's funny. It's got a little bit of a zing to it. And I hope that it gives you a flavor of what we're all about here at Dunder Mifflin and what we're all about here in Scranton. So let's just all laugh together and watch Lazy Scranton. Sitting in my office with a plate of grilled bacon. Call a man twice just to see what was shaking. Yo, Mike, our town is dope and pretty. So check out how we live. In the electric city. They call it Scranton. What? The electric city. Scranton. What? The electric city. Call poison control if you're bit by a spider. But check that it's covered by your health care provider. It reminds me of the orientation video Michael showed on my first day. The Scranton Witch Project. I am so scared when people don't label their personal food. You like coal mines and you want to see them? Well, check it out, yo. The Anthracite Museum. Plenty of space in the parking lot. But the little cars go in the compact spot. Spot, 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 spot. Well, so far, I think it is killing. I thought it would either be an A or an A+, plus, but I completely forgot that there is an A+++. Plus plus. I don't think I can work here any longer. This has been the worst, most backwards day of my life. You misunderstand. Okay. All right. Bop, 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 bop. You know what? Okay. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. You ready? What are you doing? I am going to embrace Oscar. You might want to watch this, Angela, because you can't catch anything. Here we go. No. We are going to make a statement. You and I are going to make a statement together. Oscar is my friend. I'd rather not. And I just don't care who sees it. I doesn't bother me. Really, w w I really rather not. Come here, I friend. I really rather not. You're my friend. Oh, no, no. I don't want to touch you. Ever considered that? You're ignorant, and insulting, and small. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. That was a good idea. Come on. Come on. All right. I'm sorry you called you Faggy. I know. You're not Faggy. I know you are. You're a good guy. Me too. Michael appears to be gay too. And yet he is my friend. I guess I do have a gay friend. You know what? I'm going to raise the stakes. You don't. I want you to watch this. And I want you to burn this into your brains. I don't think we need to Because do this. this is an image that I want you people to remember for a long time to come. Whenever you come into the office, I want you to think about this. We don't need to. Yes, we do. What? See? I'm still here. We're all still here. Uh.
Oh, come on, Dwight! Come on, man! There has been a lot of name-calling against our office today. Corporate maligning, slurring, much of it coming from one of you, who claims that prison is better than here. And none of us can say boo, because none of us have ever been to prison. Well, there's somebody I'd like you to meet. Somebody else who has been to prison, who can tell you what it is really like. I'm Prison Mike! You know why they call me Prison Mike? Do you really expect us to believe you're somebody else? Do you really expect me to not push you up against the wall, biatch? Oh, wow, yes. Michael. All right, hey, 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 that's just the way we talk in the clink. Been a lot of fun talk about prison today, but I am here to scare you straight. I am here to scare you straight! In prison, you are somebody's bitch. Oh, and you, you, my friend, would be the belle of the ball. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Michael, please. Where did you learn all of this? Internet. So not the prison. And prison, it's 50-50. Both. Look, prison stinks, is what I'm saying. It's not like you can go home and recharge your batteries and come back in the morning and be with your friends having fun in the office. What'd you do, Prison Mike? I stole. And I robbed. And I kidnapped the president's son and held him for ransom. That is quite the rap sheet, Prison Mike. And I never got caught, neither. Well, you were in prison, but... Mm -hmm. Prison Mike, what was the food like in prison? Gruel. Sandwiches. Gruel omelets. Nothing but gruel. Plus, you can eat your own hair. Wow. Prison sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Andy. Thanks. Prison Mike, what's the very, very worst thing about prison? Don't encourage him, don't. The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place, and they were scary, and then they'd come down, and they sucked the soul out of your body, and it hoit! Dem Dementors, like in Harry Potter? No, not Harry Potter. There are no movies in prison. This is my point. You guys got it soft and cushy. This place is freaking awesome. The people are awesome. Your boss is nice. Everybody seems to get along. People are tolerant. People who have jumped to conclusions can redeem themselves. Nobody's, nobody's bitch. I hope that this scared you. And from me, Prison Mike, to you, I just want to thank you for listening to me. Letting me be a part of your life today. Cause you got a good life. You got a good life. A good life. We are going to make a do not mock list, okay? Anything that we think might be out of bounds, we put on this list. Anything you put on this list, you cannot be teased about. Got it? I'm gonna kick it off. Let's see what I have to put on the list, right? Okay. I also have fallen into the fountain at the Steamtown Mall. Okay, who else? Who else? Dwight, come on. I don't want people making fun of my nose. Your nose? It's too small. All right. Oh my, that is small. Just write it down, please. Can you breathe okay? What keeps your glasses on? Hey, it's on the list, everybody. No, I haven't finished writing. Did you sneeze it off? That's it. No more. Okay. Who else? Who else? Everybody get their chance. I don't want people making fun of my weight. Okay, that's too broad. It's gotta be something else. How about your stomach? Yum? Meredith? I don't wanna say it out loud. Okay, fine. Come on up here, write it yourself, and don't sign your name to it, and nobody look. Everybody look away, look away. Well, I, I really didn't want to put it on the board, but I, I thought maybe it was going to come out somehow, so what are you going to do? Okay.